Okay, now we're going to copy the code for this Quickie 57 shader. And we have this tab here that's called Image, and we just select everything in that window for that tab. Go all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to copy that, go down this icon here in the lower left hand corner, copy that in the clipboard. Switch over to the Code Life app. These are the audio settings. We're on the main screen here. Select the Shader Toy Project, which is in the, the book to the left of the gear icon in the upper right hand corner. You can select these lines here. And then we're going to paste them in the code we just copied from the clipboard. And so now we have the shader. It looks just like it did on the Shader Toy website. We're going to add a variable for the audio. It's a built-in one. Go to audio and then spectrum splits what we want. That splits our audio into three different bands. Low, medium, and high gain. And you can see the little audio input there. And we can adjust the gain also for each of those three bands. And now we're going to add that Spectrum 1 variable into our code. And uniforms are just constants that are available anywhere in our code. So we're going to add that in here. So it's uniform. And this is a VEC3 because there's three different bands. And put Spectrum 1. And then our solid semicolon to end the line. So now we have access to that in our our code when we add that in. Here's the hardware setup. We have this lightning connector and then we have the iPhone which is the actual source of our audio and the headphones is how we're monitoring the output. So you can pause and look at each of these if you want to see the details of those hardware connections. And in um, we have USB to USB and here we have in Code Life the settings there. So we'll go ahead and start this and we'll hear the audio. Thank <laughs> you. 
here we have the details of the code. You can pause the video to look at the details of that as well. So it's very few lines you had to modify. And I also want to show you that you can scroll at the bottom of the screen. You can scroll up and down. You can also scroll sideways. That way if your lines get cut off, you can see your line. That's about it for this video. I'll do another one on some more of these mods of shaders.